Police in Orange tonight are uncovering new information about a fatal shooting, and investigators are sharing what they've learned with KFDM News. KFDM's Lauren Hewitt reports on what detectives believe is a factor in the shooting and what families are saying about the violence in their neighborhood. Dominique McDaniel lives next door to the house on Ridgemont Drive in Orange, where gunfire was exchanged Friday night. McDaniel and her eight-year-old daughter were in the living room. I heard a bunch of shots, and I just kind of freaked out, and she's asked me what's wrong, and I peeked out the door, and I hear some more, so I shut the door, locked it, and made her go to the bathroom with her older sister. This playground is just a few blocks away from where the shooting happened. McDaniel says there are a lot of kids in this neighborhood, and she and her family now want to move. I've got to, you know, as a, you know, I'm a parent, so I want them to be safe. Four guys in a truck drove up into the yard. The driver stayed in the truck. The three others exited the truck, forcibly entered the front door, and immediately exchanged gunfire with the occupants. Then they fled, and of course, one of them didn't make it back to the truck. One man dead in the front yard, 35-year-old Francisco Sanchez from Houston. And a man who lives at the home, Brian Gant, in critical condition. Something happened between the occupants of that house uh, and some people in Houston for this to, for it to follow them back here. Uh, and we just don't know what that is yet. Detective Captain Cliff Hargrave says police suspect gang activity. Part of the investigation is, is trying to figure out what happened that would prompt these four guys to drive from Houston and, and do this. Uh, we're working with ATF and uh, Harris County Gang Task Force right now to try to identify the other three persons. Police say they discovered a large amount of drugs in the home and arrested 35-year-old Kenyatta Walker and a woman investigators identify as her daughter, 20-year-old Tymesha Walker. Over seven pounds of marijuana, hundreds of uh, prescription pills, PCP and uh, other assorted things like that. I want to move still, so <laughs> I want to get out of here. So, In Orange, Lauren Hewitt, KFDM 6 News. Detective Hargrave says he expects the case to close soon. Now, one of the people who lives at the home is in critical condition. Police are waiting for him to regain consciousness so they can question him.